I grew up in rural Pennsylvania and uh, you know I had a good life my dad was a dentist and uh, and we had you know had things good Hi YouTube, I'm here with Chris. How you doing today? I'm doing good. So let's start at, at the beginning. What was your childhood like? I grew up in rural Pennsylvania and uh, you know I had a good life. My dad was a dentist and uh, and we had you know had things good. Lived out in the woods, I went hunting and fishing a lot. And uh, you know, it was a good place to grow up, a good place to be. Was there any type of like abuse or difficulties growing up along no, them lines? No, no. I had a nice, had a nice uh, rural country life. And, uh, had a good time. The high school was good. Yeah. We partied a lot, you know, like kids always do. Yeah. And uh, but we had a good time and uh, had a couple of nice girlfriends and. Uh, then I moved down to Florida. And, uh, I stayed. I was down in Florida for like about 20 years. How was that? Florida wasn't bad. I mean, the weather wasn't bad. You didn't get too. You know, we're talking about all the hurricanes and stuff. And, you know, I think we only had one while I was down here the whole time. And, uh, but otherwise, you know, I lived by the beach. Yeah. And. Uh, go out there do some fit deep sea you know do did some deep sea fishing fish from the the shore and stuff didn't catch too much but nothing that you could eat anyway but uh, it was fun i like florida what about jobs like what's some jobs you had i worked for manpower you know did uh day labor stuff by the you know there's tracy so like when when did being on the street start? Good morning. <clears throat> Just uh you know, not even a year ago or whatever. I just uh just haven't had the kind of job that I want or or it would show itself, you know. The only jobs I could find are you know, like I said, the day labor jobs, working for manpower and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you don't make too much money doing that. True indeed. And, uh, plus you worked your ass off. Like I said, no money. All I did was digging. Digging trenches and stuff like that. There was one trench I dug a three and a half feet deep. And that was in Florida and I'm figuring, and they don't bury pipes too deep down there. And I couldn't understand why I was digging so deep. But I had to do it. I got paid to do. So I did it. And, you know, there was other jobs. I, I liked, I didn't mind jobs where I unloaded trucks. Track their like trailer. Yeah. I liked that. Those were few and far between. Wow. But, uh, otherwise. Any, any children or wife? Oh, I have one daughter. She's 41. And I have, uh, had a wife. She's passed now. And uh, had two wives, in fact. One, I think, is still alive. But uh, my second wife, uh, Beverly, she passed. She had COPD. Oh, wow. And uh, so when she got that, they even told her, you know, you ain't going to make it. And sure enough, one day I came home from work, and there she was gone had to call you know the cops and everything took them to I was there at 11 30 they didn't get done till 3 34 o'clock in the morning till they finally got her body out here do you think that caused you to suffer some type of trauma no I mean I've been around you know my parents dying and stuff like that and uh so that's nothing new to me so I can handle it. You know, don't don't fear or anything. You know, I, I know I'm gonna die, and I, I don't fear me dying either. So, I just wait 
for it to happen because I know it's gonna happen. What's some of the hardships that you've been facing out here on the street? Uh, having to worry about if somebody's gonna jump me. You know, or if they find out because they watch you. If they find out you got money. Yeah. They'll come and get you. But I don't have any money, so <laughs> they got nothing to get. Wow. So it does get rough out here, like violent, being on the well, street. Well, it can be. I mean, if you got some money or whatever, and the other guys don't, they want it, and they'll take it. By force. Mm -hmm. What's What's some other hardships out out here? Well, if you're stuck outside, which fortunately I'm not, I've got this cold weather right now. I, mean, I wouldn't want to be stuck outside in this cold weather. I mean, I come from Pennsylvania. You talk about cold, you're talking about 20 degrees or lower that winter time. And, uh, but uh, here it's not so bad. I mean, we got down to 42 or something the other night. That was the lowest I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, it's not as bad as up in Pittsburgh yeah. and stuff. No, it gets downright cold. You talk about ice. You go on the, the ponds and everything, the ice is a foot thick. So let me ask you this, like, do you have any anything going on for the future? Any goals or plans? Well, I want to get out of doing this, but, you know, I'm looking at my age, which is 62, so I ain't got much more being around as I see it. I don't see myself lasting to 80 or 90 or anything. I mean, I'm surprised I made it this far. <coughs> but, like I said, I gave up smoking 22 years ago. So that's helped out a lot with me being a lot healthier. Okay. I, I, and I walk, I, one job I had was a, I was a caddy. I carried golf bags around for people. Okay. I like that too. You make good money doing that. That's what I heard. Yeah, you make like a hundred dollars in four hours or, or less, so it's, and you know, talk cash, so you don't have to report any of it. Oh man, is it is it anything? Um, is there anything that you want to let let the people know before we get out of here? Uh, don't do what I do. I mean, you know, I should have stuck with a job, and then you know, I'd have something. <clears throat> retire on, but I didn't stick with a job. I kept changing jobs, and like I said, I'm a caddy. Caddy, you, can't, you know, you're not gonna get get anything on retirement, not unless you save money and put it away and all that kind of stuff. So, and I didn't do that because I spent it as fast as I made it. But, uh, and like I said, don't do what I do because <clears throat> I I didn't do it right, not by any. Hey Chris, I want to um thank you. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. All right.